Hello, I am Dee from Dundalk. I'm Andrea from RD. And we're here today to give you some tips from, from the, the town. town. Now, since Dundalk won the football, literally thousands upon thousands of you have been asking us to do a tutorial on how to look like a Dundalk wag. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to use Andrea, our <clears throat> model here, and we're going to try and transform her into a Dundalk wag. So, step one would be always look the best that you can look at all times. Now that requires time, so set you your alarm clocks. I for one get up about six o'clock in the morning to make the magic happen. And by the time I'm opening my salon at nine o'clock, I look absolutely fabulous. I don't get up till half eighty. <laughs> and that's my point. Right. Step two, I would say, is always have confidence in yourself. Do you know what I mean? You need to believe that you are beautiful. Because if you believe it, the footballers will be attracted to you. I started doing my affirmations, Dee, you know, saying to myself, I am beautiful, I am beautiful, I am beautiful. Affirmations are a great idea. Of course, we have to be realistic about our affirmations, don't we? <laughs> Maybe one day a footballer will take me out. <laughs> the tide wouldn't take you out, Andrea. Right, so the third step then is tan. You always have to have a tan if you're a wag. They all have it, Victoria Beckham, Cheryl, Rooney. They all have those tans, a summer glow all year round. So we're going to use a gradual tanner here and we're going to put it on Andrea's face here. And you see, we can see with the gradual tan, we can see it coming up and we can stop in time because you don't want to go over the top. A wee story here on about self tan. When I was getting married, I put on some gradual tan the week before the wedding. On the morning of my wedding anyway, I remember this, Andrea, yeah. I woke up and I wasn't happy that I was dark enough, so I lashed a load of it on me. Anyway, I ended up walking down the aisle with skin as pale as Nicole Kidman's. And a couple of hours later, I was sitting at the top table, looking like Michelle Obama. You were a different colour in every photo, Dee. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Andrea, no need to go over the top. Just put a bit more on, yeah. So, we'll set our clock, and hopefully in three hours' time, we will see a total transformation of Andrea's skin here. Right, so there's Andrea's tan after three hours. Looks lovely and subtle, I think. And the next step is hair, right? Wags always have to have long hair. End of story. Think about them all. Victoria Beckham, Cheryl Cole. They all have long hair. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to have a wee look at Andrea's hair here. Now, Andrea, you... Jesus Christ, have you got alopecia? No. You've got big ball patches in the back here. Wait a minute. Right. For all wags, you need to, if you don't have long hair, put on hair extensions. I mean, I don't know where we're going to clip them on your head because you're... Anyway, that's the next step. So, now the hair extensions have been put in and we've done the false tan. The last step, as you can see on Andrea here, is to wear a full face of makeup at all times. Never, ever go makeup free if you want to look like a wag. Why? Because you could be out in the marsh, just walking around, getting a few wee bits for your chef, and then boom! A member of the paparazzi jumps out in front of you and the next thing there's a picture of you in the sun with a face like a bulldog's arse. You don't want that, do you? No. Then everyone calling you ugly. You don't want that. That's an awful feeling. Isn't it, Andrea? 